folks. It is a early, pretty cold October morning. It's about 50 degrees right now. I decided I'm going to go fish for some bass. I got jerk bait tied up and I have a Senko with a bullet weight tied up and I'm thinking about transitioning that over to a jig. But I just want to see how the conditions are first once we get out there. Very busy spot off the side of the road as you can see and hear. But I don't want to waste any more time. I want to get out there and start fishing. Hopefully it gets up to about 70 degrees today. But it is very cold right now and I'm regretting not wearing pants. But let's get out there and see what we can do. That was the game warden. Always make sure you have your fishing license on you guys. I say that all the time in my videos, but I'll say it again. Uh, yeah guys, so like I said, that was the game warden. Pulled up right on me as I was loading up. But you know, they're just doing their job. Uh, nothing against them. Just checking fishing licenses out here, making sure everybody's safe. He did tell me, however, that someone recently caught a nine pounder here. So that made me shake a little bit. <laughs> We're gonna do a couple casts in this pocket right here. Nice, beautiful, healthy, largemouth bass. I don't know what happened with my camera. It was glitching out, but I thought I caught him on camera. I may not have, but we've only been here for about five minutes. Let's keep going. Nice little largey though. Good to know they're biting. There we go. A little bit bigger. Look at that view. Nice large mouth, probably like a half pound. We'll let him go. Nice. Back to back. A hook pops right out. Little baby. There's giants in here, and that's what we're after. Not these little dinks. I mean, it's the fall, though. It's like, it's cold out here. I can see my breath. <sighs> it's my last Sanko. <laughs> I gotta use the crawfish after. I forgot to buy lures yesterday. I even told myself to. So I'm going to Walmart, buy some lures. Didn't do it. Figured I'd fish this little cove right here in the weeds before I head and fish that bank over to our left. And I'm glad I did because it seems like there's a little pile of fish over here. Oh, that's one. Oh, he came off, Jesus. Jumped right out of the water. Oh, I'm getting hit. Oh my God. I'm honestly spooked about those things because I'm worried that they're just gonna climb right on here. I'll have to fight them. For all I know, that freaking otter just took my. Oh, that's a fish. Dink.
This is the most dinks I've ever caught in here consistently. Usually I've got like a two and a half, three pounder in the boat by now. All right guys, probably been about like an hour-ish now. We got like four bass in the boat. It's been pretty dead over this whole area. I'm seeing fish jump, it doesn't seem like they're big fish. But I'm gonna be heading down a deeper canal right now and like just because of the colder weather, they might be schooled up in that deeper water or they might be on the shallow banks. I don't really know. I've been trying to fish everywhere. It's been really hard. But like I said, we're gonna head down that deep canal over there pretty soon and hope we pull some big boys out. And then we're also gonna, we're gonna try the banks right here first though just to make sure they're not shallow. Because if they're shallow, I'm gonna change my whole tactic. Nothing on the jerk bait, everything's been on the Sanko or the Ned Rig so far. So we're gonna keep up that pattern and see what we can do. We got a flopper. We got a flopper. Bro. Day of the dinks, man. That's six fish now. We got two on the jerk bait. He was out in the middle. That's very interesting. I never catch him out in the middle here. And I think that's like one of the second fish I've ever caught on the jerk bait here. That was weeds. I mean, just look at that foliage, am I right? I think we're up to six or seven bass. No bites in a while. This is the biggest, deepest open stretch of the reservoir. I believe down all the way down there is where the person caught the 10 pounder. Which is pretty crazy. I usually catch nothing down there. It's probably the biggest one of the day, honestly. Whoa, that was close. I mean, he's a little football. He didn't fight at all, though. It was like fighting a wet sock. Have I finally found where they are? I don't know. <sighs> Not a single one of these fish has been consistently, like, in a spot that I can, like, recreate. Like, right now, I'm pretty sure we're in like over 10 feet of water. I'll give it a quick check. He ate that right off the bank, which is just like, I have, I don't know. Some of these fish have been deep. Some of them have been shallow. The only thing that's like really consistent is the fact that they're all small. Yeah, we're in a we're in like 10 feet of water right here. So this is a crazy drop. A little white crap. This is the smallest crappie I think I've ever caught. The fishing is getting really inconsistent. 
the timing between all the fish I catch is getting farther apart. And now I'm not even catching the right species anymore. So that bee was drowning in the water. I put him on my kayak, let him dry off, and then he flew away. Cause I'm pretty sure bees can't fly if their wings are wet and he probably would have just drowned out here. So hopefully the fish gods are paying me for saving that bee's life. But so far I've caught one more crappie that I didn't film on either camera. And we're gonna fish our way all the way back now and then hopefully also get some more fish out of the weedy area where I put my kayak away. But we're gonna keep trying. It's getting really warm out. It's like 70 degrees, which is crazy for like almost middle of October. But let's keep it going. Let's see what we can do, guys. Little chunky pickerel. Not what we're after. It's a grind out here today, guys. Grinding for the dinks. Where are the big bass? Over here? Let me know in the comments. Where are the big bass? I can't seem to find them. Stay down, stay down, stay down. There we go. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Now that is a fall largemouth bass. That guy's probably three, he is hefty, oh my God. That is a nice bass. Let's go. I'm shaking right now. It's been all day since I got a good one. He just struck that top water. Beautiful fish. Oh my God, little leg check. Oh yeah. Definitely like a two and a half pounder right there. That's what we've been after all day. Right on our way back, we finally got it. Oh, took long enough. Give him another little dunk. Oh yeah, that is a beautiful fish, guys. Oh, I don't even want to let it go. <laughs> Whew. Took us long enough, guys. We'll do a few more casts out here and then we're gonna make our way back. I'd say that was worth it. That officially made the whole day worth it. So they really, did I really just get another one? Oh my God. I found them. I found where they are. Jesus. He's flopping, he's flopping. Oh geez. Oh my God. He's going absolutely nutty. No, you're gonna hook yourself again. Dink. It seems like it's gonna be like every cast out here. Where are the big boys at? They want it like super slow on the top. That's crazy. Finally figured him out. I doubt you guys can see that bald eagle. Oh my God, it's beautiful. He's probably just a black speck in the clouds to you guys. That is a huge bald eagle. We're almost back at the start. Gonna try a few more spots. I think he has a fish in his feet. That's crazy. Yeah, you guys can barely see him. He's wicked high up. Yep, almost back at the start. Figured I'd try fishing this little last channel over here that I didn't try in the beginning that I usually do. Oh, that's gonna be it, guys. Solid day. Very solid day. All right, you guys, I would say that was a very successful fall fishing day. Like I said, it was October 7th, started the day at about 
7 a.m. Uh, before I even got my kayak in the water, got stopped by the game warden. Nice guy, I was just checking my fishing license, making sure I had my life jacket and everything like that. These cars are so loud. Uh, you know, start of the day, got about six bass to start, slowed down a lot, pickerel, crappy, came back, finally got that two and a half pounder that I was really waiting for today. It was a rough run, it was a grind, but it was totally worth it. I really do think saving that bee is why I caught that big fish, you know, just that good karma. But we're gonna be trying to put another video out next week and we're gonna do the best we can. And uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit that bell and make sure you check out um, the link to our merch in the description I'm wearing the water donkey shirt right now we've got a lot of options a lot of colors sweatshirts t-shirts long sleeves we even got fanny packs on there but yeah tune in next time guys and we're gonna be doing probably something a little different next time maybe you'll be fishing for a new species new body of water river who knows we're just gonna try to keep switching it up a lot though see you guys next time